Hey guys, what is good? I hope you're all doing well. So I am back with another video today. I've got a testing products video. I've never done one of these before, so I'm actually really excited. And we've got an exciting, sorry. We've got an exciting brand to test. So as you can already see from the title, it's a pretty little thing. But it's pretty little thing skincare. Now, all I can say is, the devil works hard, but pretty little thing works harder. Like, oh my God, any, like, and hats off to them, I guess. Like, any time there's something to jump on, they will, skincare, makeup, tan, you name it, they're there. Pretty little thing literally do it all. They do it all. So, I literally am just gonna test their products. I literally got the whole collection, I think, bar like two products because it was just, they were unnecessary. Um, and they were like repeats of each other and stuff. Um, but I'm pretty sure I got pretty much the whole collection and the whole order come to under 30 pound. I'm not even joking. Under 30 pound, I think I got like six things or five. But I'm just gonna show you. Let's just show you, this is the bag, so quite big. And for skincare, skincare's small. Let's just open it up, ASMR. I can open it. No, I could never do that. I could never. Oh, okay. They're massive as well. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I think each product was under 10 pounds. I think even under less than that. I'd say under eight. So I got five things. Five things and they're all really, really big. Like, what is this one? Whatever this is, it's huge. So let's start with this old one here. So this is the Pretty Little Skin, Pretty Little Skin, quite cute. Pretty Little Skin Universal Glow Mist, it's 150 mil. So, reveal, this is the packaging. So the packaging is like quite plain and simple, but I'd say it's like plain, simple and efficient. Do you know what I mean? It's quite plain, it's got everything you need to know, so like the ingredients. Um, it says in the back, embrace that summer glow all year round with this easy to apply mist, adding a healthy sunkiss glow to your everyday look. Um, okay, so we've got the glow mist and it just says hydrate and glow. So let's quickly show you the bottle. That was a good start. So it's massive. So we've got the pretty little thing, pretty little skin, I keep saying that. Pretty little skin glow mist, number one. That is product. Oh my god, when you shake it, look at that. It actually is glowy as well. Do you know what? If it's got real glitter in, I'm not gonna be too happy because I don't like that. But we'll see. I don't really think skin products should have glitter in, but I don't know. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. This Glow Mist one was six pound, six pound for that. Okay, so next we've got the Pretty Little Skin Cleansing Balm. So all the packaging for all of them are literally the exact same, exact same box, um, exact same thing. Um, so this is a cleansing balm. So let's look at the outer, the inner packaging. Also, it's a tube, this one. Little cleansing balm tube. Um, quite excited about this one. Cleansing balm. The cleansing balm was five pounds. So the third thing I got is the PL tip. Oh, pretty little skin balancing balancing toner. It says soft and smooth. So what what was this going to be in like? Oh okay, so it's just in like a little clear um, with a little bottle screw cap. Yep, with a little. A little, you know, with the little hole in at the top. I don't know what you'd call that. Um, so it can control, how, you can control how much comes out. Um, but again, really big size bottles. All of them are. The balancing toner was £8. So most expensive so far is the toner. Next, we have the moisturiser. So smooth and hydrate moisturiser. Let's have a look what packaging this is in. Okay, so this one's a little tube bottle again. Um... Literally exact same, literally the exact same packaging as a cleansing balm, and it's slightly bigger. No, nope, same. Oh, no, nope, same size. <laughs> Had to check then. Same size moisturizer. Um, embrace baby soft skin with essential lightweight moisturizer for every day. The moisturizer was only five pound, and that's a big old moisturizer as well. So the last thing that I got is a serum, and it's a high. Help back at it with the names I can't say again. Hyaluronic, hyaluronic, hyaluronic. I think hyaluronic serum. 
I don't know. But, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. This was £5, and I'm hoping it's going to be in a little pipette squeezy. Yes, okay. So, this is the little serum that I've got. We're just going to go straight in and apply all the products. So, obviously, first, we're going to start with the cleansing balm. Usually what I like to do is wet my face, but I'm not going to lie to you, it's got no instructions on it. So when I wash my face cleansing balm, I used to just like to li really like lightly just splash water on my face. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same with you, pretty little skin. Um, so I really lightly wet my face. And we're just going to squeeze like that. Oh, quite. I'm just going to do quite a lot of amount. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in. Oh. It smell no, it does have a smell, definitely. Okay, so it's quite milky. It's more like, mm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally call this a balm. This feels like a cream, but that's just foaming up with the water. If I'm actually completely honest, it really feels like a, a cream. A balm to me is like an oily, ba like an oil-based balm. Do you know what I mean? Most, all of my balms, like my Elemis and my Clinique, they're all like water-based, I mean oil-based balms. Um, and that's usually the sort of balm that I'd call a balm. This just feels like a moisturiser that's been mixed with water that is not going to rub in anytime soon. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to lie. That's a no from me already. I just, I don't like the, the, um, the texture of it. Anyway, I've just wet my cloth and I'm just going to wipe it all off clean my face it smells like of sun cream almost let's hope it gets better because i did not really enjoy that to be honest but then i guess what else could you expect for a fiver or however much that was i'm sure that was a fiver this is step one done cleanse it i've cleansed my face it feels quite dry but i mean after cleansing and drying your face it's not really that um much of a big problem um next anyway i'm going to go in with the balancing toner Obviously, I'll take it on a little cotton pad. We'll see how this one goes because I didn't really like the cleansing balm. I don't know what fragrance that is. I really can't work it out. It doesn't smell bad, but I, I usually like a hydrating toner. This just says a balancing toner. So I think it's going to be more of a harsh toner. It does feel a bit more harsh, if I'm honest. It's not feeling too bad. I just prefer hydrating toners, so that is just my preference. Um, but I don't really like the rough sort of toners, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's go on with the serum next. Got high hopes for this. I'm hoping it's not too watery, but it looks pretty watery, if I'm honest. The pipettes. Do you know what? These pipettes, and I'm, it's not even just a pretty little thing, because they're, I can't complain, because they're all the same. They just never work. Like... There's a whole pipette, but you can only fill up half. How does that work? Okay, this is water. Oh, my days. Right. This is just, like, water. Um. Um. I don't know what to say about this. I feel like it's just done nothing to my skin. Like... I genuinely feel like that's done nothing to my skin at all. That just felt like absolute water going on my skin. Do you know what? One thing that I'm having, having hoped for, please don't let me down, is a moisturiser. Because I think moisturiser, come on. But I, that serum is not what is, that's not what's it. It's not. But again, like I say, for, actually I'm not even going to say, like for a fiver, because you can get the ordinary serums and they're around five quid. This for a fiver, no, do not waste your money on that. I'm annoyed, I'm actually a bit upset because I was hoping that this was going to go well and three out of three products I'm not really enjoying. The balancing toner is definitely the best so far, but if I had to pick to use any of that of the three, I would use this, but I wouldn't use any of these over my products I've already got. Let's try the moisturiser now because we've got to have at least one good thing going for it, for pretty little, t pretty little skin, come on. Oh my god, that's just squirted out so much. Again, it's got the same scent. They've got perfume in all of these. Fragrance. Put way too much on here. Way too much on here. Okay. Right, so I'm basing this on what they've said it is. So they've said it's a lightweight moisturiser. I'm going to have to wipe all that off. 
Um, they've said it's a lightweight moisturiser. Yep, I agree. Lightweight. Okay. Mmm. It feels a little bit silicone -y. Slightly. But I'm not mad at it. Do you know what? I'm actually not mad at it. I could use that. Um, for like, I don't know, maybe if I was travelling or if I needed to take a moisturiser out for me for the day. Well, it's a bit big for that. But I'm not mad at it, but I don't know if it's, don't feel like it's hydrating my face the most. Do you know what I mean? Like, my face doesn't seem that hydrated, but it's not so bad. Like, that could be, I'm put a bit more on. That could have been worse, I'd say. I think I've got hair on my face. Um, that definitely could have been worse. I'm really trying to work out what this scent is. It's like almost like, f not fruity, but like flowery. I think that's what it is. Can't put my finger on it. It's like a mix of sun cream and something else, but there's no SPF in these. This is my favorite now. These two are my faves so far, but as I say, they're not amazing. But this was what, six pound, I think? Five pound again. So five, uh, what else like can you expect, I guess, for a moisturizer, but Nah, again, it's, I've, I think I'll probably, have I had a better moisturiser for fibre? For the size and that, no, I haven't because you, I probably can't get another moisturiser for a fibre. But it's not amazing. But th this is definitely my favourite so far. Um, it's not so bad. It's definitely not as bad as the cleansing balm. I'm, I'm sorry, but that is a no-go. And say, so was the serum. Lastly, we're going to try the Glow Mist, which I'm so scared has got glitter in, because look at that, that's got glitter in, isn't it? Oh my god, who wants glitter? So, I don't think this is going to go very well. I'm just going to have to do it on my hand first. I will do it on my face, but, oh my god, it's not even... Oh my god, look at the way it's spraying out. Oh, bubbles on my hand. Got a shimmer to it, can we see that? It's got glitter, it's got glitter! Oh, I'm not having it, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it for the YouTube. I'm doing it for you guys, all right? Oh, it's squirting out at me everywhere. Can anyone see any difference? Because no, I can't. Oh, I am not happy about the glow mist. And it, that is my fault if there was one without glitter. Because in my defense, I didn't see it. But this is... I thought I got the one without glitter. Oh, maybe that was my fault then. So, the top three faves of the video are these three. And I'll probably order them. One. Two, minus the glitter. Three. And then, these two are a no-go. The testing video was a bit of a flop, to be honest. But, at least, I'm doing it for you guys. At least now, you know what to buy, what not to buy. More what not to buy than what to buy. But... It had to be done. Pretty li like pretty little thing, bringing out skincare. Do you know what I mean? They're a clothing brand. They don't do skincare. Well, they clearly do now, but that's not their forte. But yeah, that's my honest opinion. And we're only gonna give you the honest opinion on this channel. It's the way we always, we're always gonna do it. I hope you all enjoyed anyway. And I hope I helped you. I helped you out. I've got a couple more testing videos in mind that I'm really excited to film. Um, I've just got to go find the pieces um, from the sh the certain place I'm going to test them from. Um, but yes, I've got some more testing videos coming soon. So let me know if you enjoyed, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you next time.